So hi everyone. Good afternoon or good morning if you are joining in from um, a different part other than Europe. My name is Luis Avriluk. Today I'm going to be showing you the Simbound e-marketing simulation game. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always turn to the chat on the right side where uh, Shandor and Adi will be responding to your questions. So I'm going to be showing you both the student and the instructor's account. Normally, you only get to get uh, one type of account, but in some situations, you can have this uh, two-tier account. So I'm just going to log into the instructor side for now, and I'm going to walk you through some of the options. So this is the main interface that you get once you register for an instructor's account, and it gives you an overview of all the features you need as a Simbound eMarketing instructor. I'm going to be showing you the more common features, such as messages, where you will get uh, system messages and messages related to your uh, courses. The calendar, which provides an overview of uh, your ongoing courses. And also the community, where you can interact with uh, other instructors and students. Now, one of the most uh, important features you, you have at this stage is uh, the new Simbound course tool which allows you to set up an uh, easy-to-use uh, e-marketing simulation game. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. And uh, it's on, it only takes a few steps for this to, to happen. First of all, you have to name your course and uh, make sure you choose something familiar because students will see this when they sign up. Next, you can choose the scenario where the default scenario has um, the tablet PC shop, which sells tablet PCs via multiple online channels. And the course language by default is English. The next option you have to go through is the course size, whereas you um, select how many participants you think will enroll in the course. And uh, this, will, uh, this will give you an idea of how, the, how big the, the course is going to be. You also need to choose the licensing by which um, who will be paying for the licenses, whether it's going to be you or the students. Now, keep in mind that each course has a maximum limit size of 60 students. So if uh, you go above that, you should, uh, you should create multiple uh, courses. For now, we're just going to leave uh, 10. Um, the scheduling or the timetable of the course, here you select how long your course will be and how many interactions your students will um, get to have with the simulation game. So for shorter courses, maybe you can go with four to five uh, rounds, while for longer courses, you can go with uh, perhaps more eight, nine or 10 rounds. Um, you can always change this. You can always change the schedule of the course once you um, uh, created the initial, the initial schedule. And you can also select how many interval between the round deadlines in days the course should have. The last step here is to um, confirm your course settings. And this will prompt you to the next screen in which uh, you can actually invite your students to your newly created course. So there you have it. Each course uh, is assigned with a unique um, course code, which will allow your students to register to your specific course. You can also send uh, email invitations if you have their students email address and uh, through this you can uh, you can connect with uh, with the students and have them register to your particular course so okay while you wait for the students to register you can also modify the, the schedule if that is needed or you can add a special course event such as a meeting or an onboarding uh, type of uh, seminar um, now I'm going to jump back to the Simbound student account and I'm going to show you the range of options which are available to a student. So your students got the invitation from, from the course you recently created. And this is... Um, okay, sorry about that. Uh, this, is the, this is the main screen they will see when, uh, when they will log in into the, the Simbound uh, user interface. And uh, there are three different types of marketing channels with which they in interact. So the first one is website management and analytics. The second one is search engine marketing. And the third one is email marketing. As I mentioned before, the default scenario 
in this uh, game is uh, about a tablet PC shop which sells different tablet brands. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to go into the website management operations and just show you a bit the range of decisions they have available. So the website is the central type of uh, content with which they will work. All their marketing efforts will be directed towards this um, marketing property. And uh, they have the option of creating multiple website pages for different types of products. This is only one, but I'm going to show you how to create one in just now. So they can select different type of elements to place on their, uh, on their website. And they can create as many pages as they want. We recommend that they create one page for each type of product they are selling in the game. Next is the analytics part where they can actually see where the traffic is coming for their particular web pages. Now we only have one page, the one page, the home page, which we can see has got uh, two, 2,707 visits and it's also generated four leads. Now, the more web pages you have, obviously the, the more um, success, uh, the, the higher chances of success for your uh, email market, e marketing campaigns. Next is the competition, where you can get an overview of how the other teams, other student teams have performed in terms of their online marketing presence. So basically you have the, um, a pie chart which shows you the, the main uh, share of, of traffic assigned to each team and also a breakdown of each uh, particular channel which they got. So whether this is uh, organic, so you know via the search engine, non-paid uh, traffic, or whether this is direct traffic, which means traffic uh, originating uh, on the web page, and also paid traffic, which is uh, the search engine marketing module, which I will turn to in a minute. Now, one other feature here is that students can check for the competition on their website pages, and they can, they can look at uh, how the other teams are doing. For example, if they are looking for products which they are targeting with their email campaigns and they can see how other teams are uh, placing their ads and what is their position in the organic search results and this is this is by good this is our very own simulated uh, search engine so next up is uh, search engine marketing which is another channel through which you can attract traffic to your uh, website page the way this works is that each round student teams are assigned with a budget and this uh, this is not cumulated. So if a bu budget is not used at the end of one round, this will get um, consumed and it will not be added to the, the future rounds. And uh, here we have a range of uh, campaign metrics or, or account metrics, sorry, where they can actually check out their performance of on uh, on past rounds. So impressions are basically how many how many times their ads were shown on on search results pages. The clicks are interactions with, uh, you know, the virtual shoppers. Click-through rate is uh, clicks over impressions, clicks divided by impressions. And this is the, the total amount of cost paid by each uh, student team. Also conversions, so basically how many sales they got through this channel and the value of those conversions. And here there is more information in the welcoming uh, message, the, the welcome scenario message which every student receives at the beginning of, uh, of the game. So I'm going to go down the, the account structure and just show you a bit how to uh, create a campaign, how to create a search engine marketing campaign. So here we have different uh, web, web search properties where students can select what, what type of products they want to sell. And these are all in stock of, of the student team. So let's say we want to, to go with a Windows tablet and here are the keywords which are available for, for this particular ad group team. So I'm going to go forward and, and create a campaign real quick. You can also target uh, the advertising based on the location. In this scenario, there are two markets. So there's only US and UK, and you can see that uh, this will uh, change the, the data. So I'm going to go with UK for now. Now they have to set up a budget. And as I said, this is valid only for one round. So each round they must uh, optimize and, and revise this figure. 
and also the manual cost per click bidding. Now this will influence how many impressions they will get, whether this is a, a, a higher cost per click, then this will trigger a higher placed on average ad. They can write the, the, the ad copy, so basically just go with uh, you know standard ad copy and this will trigger a lot of um, a lot of results so basically if they select to include keywords that are included in the ad group team by default they will get a higher click through rate And the last step, as always, is to confirm your settings and just create uh, the campaign. So basically, once the campaign is created, students have to wait for the next round deadline in order to be issued with their results. And this is an iterative process. Once the game is underway, you know, maybe a few rounds passed, they can take a look and see what type of uh, results they will get and optimize that accordingly. So then we go to the ad groups, where this is basically a subset of campaigns and also ads, where the ad copy is, uh, is shown and where they can modify it or even create different uh, A-B tests. So they can select uh, one ad, for example, just the one I created before, and they can, uh, they can create another version of that ad just to see which one performs better. So this is, I'm not going to do this right now, but this is pretty straightforward. And uh, as I go down the, the account structure, there are keywords. Basically, here you have all the keywords which you have selected in your campaigns, and this will perform differently according to the targeting and the budget that you have set. Keyword research is where they can see the trends and the search volumes for each um, uh, keyword property, and also competition, where they can check out the performance of other teams and how well they have done on on the different uh, campaigns so basically we see here that uh, the purple tablet team has the, the top uh, results for now they have 565 uh, conversions at a value of uh, 20 approximately 20000 euros so this is the the SEM module if anybody again has any questions make sure to use the the chat on the right hand side and uh, my colleagues will be up to the task to respond in a, with any uh, you know questions you might have the last module with with which students can improve their uh, online marketing presence is email marketing and this allows the creation of email newsletters which are then sent out to the virtual subscribers that uh, they they garner in the game so i'm just going to go show you how to create how easy it is to create a, a new email marketing campaign so you have to give it, give it a name. Then you have to select a list type. Now, basically, these are leads which are grouped under different uh, purchasing behaviors. So basically, they are buyers, interested, and random. Buyers are the ones which uh, are cataloged as the people who are visiting your website and are searching for a particular product, for instance, the iPad or the, the Galaxy tablet. The interested ones are segmented into... A category which is interested in a particular brand and the random list is just people browsing the website and signing up uh, on, for, for different news for not exactly not not a particular product exactly so I'm just gonna go with buyer for now and I'm going to go with uh, with the iPad and the next step is they have to select an email subject and again there are some uh, validators behind this which give out results accordingly. So if you have a, a good email subject, which is, which is short, not many punctuation marks, or not, uh, not too many uh, letters there, which are, which are wrongly spelled, then this will give out better results. And you can, you can complete each one and have um, your sales message delivered out to your leads. Also, there is this uh, link feature where you can select where, where the users will be directed. So I'm just going to Go real quick with this to show you how it works. Okay, so this is uh, this is just a, a quick campaign I created now, so that I can show you how uh, how the email templates look. So basically, this would be the email that uh, will be sent out to the virtual uh, you know leads. And again, 
the, the students can increase their number of leads by uh, including lead capturing forms on the website management uh, module. So this was just a quick overview of some of the options which are present in, in the student account. Now I'm going to go back to the, to the instructor's account and I'm going to show you how an unfolding course, so a course which already has some results, looks like. And this is a this is a demo game in which we have four teams, and they each have their own uh, specific performance. So basically, as an instructor, once the the game is underway, your role is to track student progress and just offer feedback and make sure that everything is clear to students as to why, you know, they are getting results. So basically, you can check out the team activity. So how much time each team spent logged online, how many decisions they took and also what they posted on the community. Also, there are the, the reach metrics, so basically how many conversions each student team got, and also the total number of impressions. So these are just campaign level metrics which you can uh, use to you know, differentiate between student team performance. Profitability is this uh, place where uh, you, you see each team's performance in terms of their overall profit their return on advertising spending so basically that is just how much uh, money they made on top of the cost of the campaign and the cost per acquisition so this is basically a, another financial metric which speaks about uh, campaign efficiency also the total budget spent on the on the paid sem campaigns so for now i want to see if there are any questions at this stage of which I can I can answer and if you want to jump into the conversation then I can uh, I can uh, unmute your your microphone and then I can I can listen to what is uh, what is your uh, question so I can see there are no questions just about now if um, you know, if there should be any questions afterwards, me and me and the team will be glad to answer them via email or, or the other channels. Well, this is it from me. I hope uh, you enjoyed this quick overview of the of the Simba on the e-marketing simulation game. And uh, you have a good day.